I'm Zachary Fowler. And I'm Greg Ovens. And this is the 30 Day Survival Challenge, Canadian Rocky. There's only one rule. If you want to eat, you got to catch and cook it. The 30 Day Survival Challenge Season 2 Canadian Rockies has been brought to you in part by Dr. Squatch Soap, Hidden Woodsman Gear, Go Prepared Survival, Outdoor Vitals, Wazoo Survival Gear, Simple Shot Shooting Sports, and Grim Workshop. Check out the link in the description below for the gear video of the 30 Day Survival Challenge. <sighs> I hear a twig snapping. Is that a bear out there? Oh. Nope, it's just Greg. He's breaking twigs to start a fire. Oh. Better get up and meet the day then. It's day 16, I think. clear but it's not dark and stormy looking either no it's, but but that can change <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah that can change did you uh manage to blow coals to life yeah yeah so the banking worked yeah there was coals yeah oh I should have brought some hot rocks I couldn't really Oh, this is just brutal. I know. Look at you, see your breath and everything. It's, you know, it's past the middle of July and, and it's this cold? Like, it's, this is ridiculous, man. Uh, well, we don't have to worry about mosquitoes. <laughs> well, no, that's true. <laughs> They're frozen. Yeah. The, no, you're right. The that's surface why... of the water is frozen over so they can't get out. <laughs> yeah. No, that's why we're not seeing them for sure. Unreal. But... After getting in bed, I was like, man, I wish I had had some hot rocks just <coughs> yeah. put down by my toes. Yeah. I, I think I hung my hammock like one inch too low on the foot. So I was kind of like sliding towards my feet. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I kept waking up like with my feet past the under quilt or I didn't adjust my under quilt far enough back. So my toes kept getting a little bit cool and I had to like ball up a little bit. Oh, yeah. But once I fell asleep, like always, I woke up sometime in the middle of the night and I was nice and warm.
up on it a bit. That's one way to warm up. Give it a try. What do you think? Yeah, I'll try her out. Appreciate it. Oh, that's solid. Yeah. I'll be here for years to come. Yeah. Hey. Very nice. I feel like it ended up a Good little spot. A little close, but you like to be close. Um, well, I do because I'm cold a lot. <laughs> but we can. There's still plenty of the fire. You could can come, move the fire that yeah, way. Yeah, it could come eight inches this way because exactly. it's a little far from. I like to be far from it though, so it doesn't matter. Or we could move it this way, so. We can move it whichever way. Yeah. yeah. No, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Dear Diary, it's so cold out here that every time Greg gets up to leave the fire, all I can think about is that quote from Star Wars, when Han's going out to rescue Luke on the ice planet, and that guy tells him, your tauntaun will freeze before you reach the first marker. And so Han says, well then I'll see you in hell. And of course, inevitably, he kills the poor thing by driving it out there in the cold, and proceeds to cut the thing open and stuff Luke in it to keep him alive. And so if it gets even five degrees colder, I would totally go for a Tauntaun sleeping bag. This may smell bad, kid, but it'll keep you warm. <sighs> I thought they smelled bad. <sighs> On the outside. Best part of waking up is gopher fish head stew in your cup. <laughs> you had to know that was coming at some point. <sighs> That's if you've been watching and you won't follow me, you'll know my love of fish head soup and ever stew. If you've just tuned in though and you're like, what is going on? Who's this crazy guy in the woods? Check out the link below in the description for the 30 Day Survival Challenge or check out the playlist on my channel for the Season 1 of the 30 Day Survival Challenge that we did in Texas. I, me and uh, Chris Thorne, Drop Forward Survival and or the Wilderness Living Challenge. I got some great series there linked in the playlist on my channel. Like, or maybe not down below, but like over when you go to playlists and then you follow down, you got like Wilderness Living Challenge, 30 Day Survival Challenge, 87 Days, about my reenactment of my 87 days alone in Patagonia. We have lots of fun. So if you're just tuning in, check it out. And the links for this series, if you want to start from the beginning, which I highly recommend, otherwise you're missing out on a lot, are right down below in the description. Oh, 
That's good, good stuff. Let's go fishing. I don't see any fish. One for the whoo! We're gonna eat tonight! Yeehoo! Woo! Oh, look at that! Definitely the net for the win. He's already unhooked somehow, just in the netting to getting him up the hill. That is oh, hey, where do you think you're going? <laughs> Alright. There we go. That's a good sized fish. Beautiful. Thank you, Lord. We're gonna eat tonight. Yes! Let's see if we can get another one. I wonder if Greg's got anything. You can see him all the way over there, right there. There's a little tiny Greg. I can't zoom in very far with this lens. That's as far as it goes. He's on the other side. Nice. Flip a rock, find a worm, catch a fish. Woo! Uh, one will have to be enough, it's starting to sprinkle. I don't want to spend all day getting wet for nothing. How'd you do? Oh, nothing. Nothing? Nothing. nothing. You got one, I see. Yeah, I got one. Yeah, nice, nice. Let's uh, let's go back uh, and eat and yeah, and let's... just uh, we're gonna work... come back tonight and maybe do some set lines. Yeah. Drive some set lines in the ground and try that. Yeah. Get All the right. skunk completely. Well, that means there's two fish, so we can each have one and yeah. get some work done on our shelter. Plenty. Oh, fish cheeks are probably ready. Mmm. Fish cheeks. <sighs> Darn cheeky fishes. <laughs> Only biting when they feel like it, huh? Well, we're doing pretty good. 
Well, we're you know even getting one a day is gonna sustain us. Have we gone down once and not got a fish? No. I think we've always gotten at least one. We've always one. got one. And you got? I got two the one time. The one time. Yeah, as a team effort, we haven't gotten skunked. No. Well, I've lost almost as many as I've caught. Yeah, I lost one. Oh, yeah, I have. I've that lost the, just as the many. one I got today, I netted it. I netted. I netted it and brought it up on the shore, and the hook was out of its mouth again. Yeah, sure. yeah. So I mean, it was just, and I could see it as I was netting it that it looked like it was right in the corner of it, like mm -hmm. just. And I was like, net it, and then by the time I set it down, yeah. It, I'm glad you didn't lose it because we pretty much need a, a fish each at this point. We didn't have one last night, so that feels good. Mm -hmm. It's so darn cold. I know it is. It's just this is like October. All right, I gotta cut some big logs or something so we can make ourselves a grilling surface. Or... All right. Well, yeah, we were gonna right. grab rocks, but uh, we had. Oh, I'll go get stuff. rocks. I'll go get some rocks. Well, I'll come and help you. Okay. It's not that far to the rock pile, right? No. Uh, so, a couple rocks each, eh? Mmm. Uh, I should do it. That one's definitely the winner. Hmm? That one's, that's nice. You think? On the sawbuck? Yeah. 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 I mean, compared to the bow saw, which okay. is hella oh, dull, yeah. hella yeah, dull. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. uh, cause a bow saw, if they're really dull, they just pinch. But I'm seeing big shavings, which tells me big shavings, mm -hmm. sharp tool. All right. Small shavings, dull tool, and uh, this is nothing like making firewood with a big saw. No. You no, know? That's right. Uh, a bow saw would have done, uh, that bow saw nice and sharp would handle these just fine. Uh -huh. You know, it's stuff that's under four inches. Yeah. Bigger than that, you, you spend more time. It cur The blades will always curve or yeah. something. I did it, but it did slide free oh, at the last yeah, second. Yeah, wanting to slide. Maybe. I'll hold it, I'll hold it. We hit our fish up there, so. At least if we had a bear in camp, he might might not climb up the tree and get it. Of course, if it was a Sasquatch, he'd be up that tree in a second, and we'd be out of fish. But fortunately, <laughs> there's two fish right now, and we each get to have one. That's good. I'm knackered after all that sawing and building and dragging rocks, and I am hungry. Let's fit. Let's eat some fish. Cooking my fish in a. I'm gonna put hot rocks inside my fish oh, okay. to cook it. Okay. So I need really, really hot rocks, like glowing hot, for my plan to work. And my net works great. Yeah, well, that's good. You gotta like it when things work. Yep.
Hmm. Good work. Yeah. <sighs> it took too long to cook that. Now I'm all frazzled and waited too long in the day. It's like four o'clock something. Whew. Lord, thank you for this fish and this adventure. In Jesus' name, amen. Is that the sound of coffee being prepared? Dobo's clumping. Not coming out of there. There we go. Oh, look at all that fish. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. Just what the doctor ordered. Healthy dose of fatty fish. By cooking it this way, I like. I think I ruined all my eggs. There was a little row of eggs. They weren't huge, but. Ooh, look at that giant chunk. Oh, a little bit of wadobo sprinkle on one side, all toasty and golden from the smoking and cooking on the fire. Mmm. Mm. Mm. I think I now like this better than catfish. You think? I thought you said you really liked your catfish. I really do like my catfish. It's hard to say. I mean, it is good. There's nothing wrong with the trout, for sure, but... Mm. Just any time that you can have a fish and have big... Chunks. giant chunks of flaky meat yes yeah. you know it's like that's just awesome i'm so excited about these little tongs that i made <laughs> you know i was like oh there's no nothing to make chopsticks up here in the mountains you know they're all soft and doesn't work right and, and then i tried this and man spruce mm-hmm the bendiness works to my advantage and they're a little like training wheels chopsticks. Thinking about heating some hot rocks up and climbing back into my hammock. I know, it's just brutal, isn't I, it? I went and got the the water for the coffee and to fill my water bottle and and now I am I pant. You're cold again and wet yeah again. cold and wet it took and my it's... boots from a little bit wet to just like drench yes just walking through the there's just the brush just holds so much water on I know it. yeah it's unreal it's not ideal I even got a hot rock inside my shirt here wrapped in my uh you do who rag yeah uh -huh. and it's like it it's Makes me feel warm in the core, but hey, there we go. 
<laughs> I'm glad we got that on camera. We just missed that whole mess. Oh well. Oh boy. There's a yeah. bit more there. There's the more, right? <laughs> We're not a... We got some. We got we got some. Come on. Here you go. A little water. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. It'll fill back up. That's one thing we got no shortage of. Rainwater. All right, I am in. Oh, it's nice to be in my hammock. I got a nice happy rock wrapped up in um, my hoo rag and that down there by my feet so I don't have to go to bed with cold feet. <sighs> Stayed up late because I was working on a project. My chessboard. Uh, I probably showed you a little glimpse of that but I'm not gonna show you the whole thing until it's done. So I'll keep teasing you until I finish it. I wish I had thought to do it sooner because of all this rain. But it's not like I've been idle. I've been, you know, stoking the fire, trying to dry my stuff out, trying to dry, just trying to be dry and warm and making little nets and all kinds of stuff that's proved to be fairly useful so far. So, but I want to build those shelters up in the trees. I do not like sleeping like a bear burrito down here on the ground, you know, especially since this new camp, you know, a couple days here, we've made a mess of the fish and like spilt out of the fire and dropped it and chunks flew everywhere and I I don't know the scent the amount of scent of food scent has got to be fairly prevalent right now um, so hopefully with the bear mace and shotgun we're safe enough and they'd just be coming because they're exploring for food not to eat um, yours truly so I'm gonna go to bed Oh, and try to get up earlier and get down there and catch another fish again. And hopefully the rain will stop and we can start building our shelters up in the trees. See you next time. Fowler out.